Well, Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day, or Whistle Pig Day, is February 2nd, and it's the perfect time to teach your kids about weather, prognosticating, and everything from shadows to buries and all things groundhog. And I had no idea that they were also called whistle pigs, but I just learned that. Jan Doyle from Classroom Connections is here, and she brought in her pet groundhog. <laughs> What's his name, Wally? His name is Wally the Woodchuck. Wally the Woodchuck. He has really three names, Groundhog, Woodchuck, or Whistlepig. Who, I had no, who, who knew? knew? Who, who knew? knew? All right, so February 2nd, oh, it's the big day. It's That's... the big day. Wally likes to face the camera. Okay, come on, Wally. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with Groundhog Day with children. Mm. First of all, as in the last segment with a librarian, puppets are instant fun. Yes. As, you, as, as people... As we've noticed. As you know, behind the set, it's instant fun. And there's also a, a folktale on why he has a short tail. And so parents can go online and pick up that folk tale. Now, why tail. does he have a short tail? Now I'm intrigued. He has a short tail because he was running away from a pack of wolves, and one wolf was faster than the other before he went down in his burrow. Okay. So his tail is short. is short. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up this little short tail. There we go. Little whistle pig has a short tail. Now, the fun part... <laughs> The fun thing is, children can make up a new reason. You uh -huh. don't have to go with a traditional tale. A t okay. That's a tale uh, pun sure. on that word. Now, now before we, we move forward, now, does everyone know what happens on Groundhog's Day? N that is a very good point. On Groundhog's Day, February 2nd, if a groundhog comes out of his burrow and he sees his shadow, six more weeks of winter. Because well, he gets spooked. So he, he sees his shadow, he goes, ah, <laughs> and he runs back in. And he gets six more weeks of winter. Correct. But if he comes out and it's cloudy, he doesn't see a shadow and he stays outside. And there you go. There you go. Spring comes early. Now, parents can also, if you don't have one of these at home, mm -hmm. um, and few people have a groundhog puppet, <laughs> sure. but, you know, but you might want to go on the internet. And in front, I have a little um, cartoon that you can color, put them in a paper bag, and you can make you can make do with that type of thing. Okay. The other thing is you can reframe a question and go on the internet and decide what are the qualities to be a good groundhog. And do you, are you a mammal? I have that on a chart in front. Are you a mammal? Do you do you live in a burrow? Are you a herbivore? And what you can do is you can differentiate between that and other squirrels, mice, other rodents. Mm. So there's a lot of things you can do. You don't just have to um, know these words and definitions. You can go on the internet and find out and and have a conversation about that. Now, what's in the basket? Well, this is not your lunch, Steve. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. This is not it's your lunch. It's an empty basket. It's an empty basket. Oh. You can kick it up a notch and learn about some other words like transparent, opaque, and translucent. And I have a basket of goodies that you can take and put in the right on the right hoozy over here on the right hoozy really, on the hoozy so yeah, there that, we go. so that's very good opaque good you're doing a wow. fine job and what are the translucent translucent is, oh. is somewhere in the middle yes a plus yeah translucent <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the best books I've ever found on groundhogs. I have picked it up on Interlibrary Loan. They have descriptions. They have weather facts about groundhogs. Mm -hmm. They have interesting pe people who were involved with groundhogs. I love that book. Groundhog Weather School. There you go. I I mean, and as a, as a weather guy, you, you know, I'm all interested. That might be a book for you to get for your birthday. Okay. You know? And then, this one. The, yeah, this is a good one, that, too. That looks like a great Facts one. Facts and Jan fun. Doyle, you are the best. Thank you I, so much. I always enjoy having you. You, you entertain me <laughs> with all your wonderful arts and crafts. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone, head on over to our website, WTNH.com. From there, you go to the weekend section, and that will take you to Jan's information and her website and all this fun stuff. Uh, all right, that's it from here. It's time to head on over to Allie Reed.